Hey guys, how are you guys doing? So, I am so sorry I have not made any videos this week. I uh, have been very, very busy getting the kids back to school and um, trying to figure out what I'm doing for me and for my life and how I'm honestly going to make it as a single mom. Things have gotten so bad for me financially that I'm struggling and I had to go back to work. Um, I had applied for disability because of my knees. I do have a doctor's appointment next week. Disability is telling me that the doctors uh, is going to have to sign off on disability for me to get that. And um, I don't think I'm at a point with my steroid shots and my knees to go on disability. I um, am able to have my steroid shots right now that are working and therefore I went and got another job. And so I went back to work and I am working. i uh, not going to be able to pay my bills if I don't work. So with that said, I am going to talk at my next appointment to the doctor on what I can do or not do or what she is going to sign off on or not sign off on and where to go. I have a caseworker on it and she is advising me to talk to the doctor about disability because without the steroid shots, I'm unable to work. And I am on a 180 day program now for weight loss. And so my uh, weight loss program for 180 days is going to require me to not have my steroid shots by the time I have surgery in January. So as soon as the steroid shots wear off, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I am going to have to work through the pain. And so I am gonna have to get some more pain medicine, I think, uh, for my knees. Uh, working is making my knees hurt really, really bad. And I have been struggling with what to do um, this week because I have to work, like I said. And I have one agency sending me to another agency sending to another agency and nobody has any answers. And so I went back to work. I am working at a daycare again. The daycare is uh, working with all my doctor's appointments. I'm not getting my hours in that I'm hired to work because of, um, like tomorrow I have my two hour, uh, meeting for my weight loss education class. And then on top of all these doctor's appointments, I have courts again. And so I have to have the day off for that. And so you guys, um, it's a struggle. It's a struggle to know what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, a single mom who has had her child support taken away based on false allegations has had her taxes taken away, who is now required to pay back all of 2023 taxes, which she doesn't even have the money to do. And she was in compliance, you know, for her 2023 taxes. And then for my uh, surgeries and my knees and my health is just failing me so bad. And to be honest with you guys, I've come home every day this week just in tears because I'm in so much pain and I can't walk. But I'm doing so much at this job that I am trying to figure out what to do. Um, I have to keep moving or else... Um, I'm not going to be able to work. I'm gaining more weight and I am not able to lose my weight. It's not coming off. I'm trying. I'm trying really hard. I've been on, uh, shakes for breakfast now. I've been on my, um, lean cuisines for lunch and I am not losing any weight. And so... With that said, you guys, I'm struggling a lot. Um, and 
God has really just encouraged me to tell me to keep going. Um, take one day at a time, which is what I'm doing. And to uh, just take care of the responsibilities I have. And um, I think that's why God gave me the job that I have right now. And uh, keeping all the doctor's appointments and keeping all my caseworkers. And everybody's working together for me. I've got Community Service League helping me out. I've got food stamps helping me out. I've got my job helping me out as much as I can work. I've got um, everyone helping me get to the point of having my weight loss surgery in January. But the next six months is going to be very, very difficult for me. And I am going to have to work within all these agencies with my caseworker leading the way and getting to the point where we can really just work together to get to the point where as a single mom, I can make it. And to be honest with you guys, I was going to read scripture tonight. I just can't. I need to go to bed. I'm exhausted. Um, I don't have my kids this weekend. Like I said, I have that class for my education tomorrow, and <sighs> September is next week. You guys, I can't even pay my rent. I'm not going to have enough money to pay my rent. <sighs> I'm so frustrated. Because not only am I in pain and I hurt and I'm exhausted and I have all these responsibilities as a single mom, but the help is not there unless I'm the one getting all these agencies together. And I'm the one who is having to get all the forms together. I'm the one who has to call this person or call that person or take off work and send information to this person or hand deliver it or go pick it up. And it's so frustrating. And um, I'm telling you guys, life is getting very, very difficult as single moms out there. I have a lot of things going on with court and court is not to be a nice to me for these false allegations against me and I haven't broken any laws I haven't done anything and I keep thinking why am I having to go through this dear God why is um, my ex making up lies instead of communicating and talking to me and um, you know God has really put me on a a journey of I need to do what I need to do for me. I need to do what I need to do to be a good mom for my children. That's all that matters. And God says, you know, just be strong in your faith and stand up for what you can do and do what you can do. And God really has told me that I need to take it slow. So this week I have not made any videos and I do want to apologize for that. I'm hoping I can start back up on Monday. I think I am going to honestly take the weekend off. I may make a video here or there, but I need a weekend to myself. I need a weekend to reflect. I need a weekend to remind myself what I need to be doing. And I've been panicking. I've been panicking because I don't know how I'm going to pay my bills. I've been panicking because I don't know what the court's going to do. I have been panicking because I don't want to work because I'm in so much pain. And I am uncomfortable in my body. Everybody says weight loss surgery is what I need. And weight loss surgery is what I need. But it doesn't happen overnight. It's going to take me six months to get to this point of having my life back. I wish my ex would leave me alone. I wish he would co-parent. I wish that we could work together for what's best for my kids because I am struggling as a single mom. I'm struggling financially to be able to do this for this kid and do this for this kid and do this for this kid and yet be the mom that feels comfortable in her own body. 
and I have joined like a whole bunch of organizations and I think I'm doing too much. I honestly think I'm doing too much. I have signed up for PTA for my son in his school. And I'm going to be leading three, three programs or special event nights that is going on in his school. And I want to be that good PTA mom. Like I failed in the past because of court proceedings. And I want to be active in my kids' education. I want my children to have a Christian education. I want my children to know to stand up for their faith. And this new job I have at a daycare is at a Christian school. And I am so very excited to be able to teach Bible principles to my two-year-olds in my class. I only have five kids, you guys. It's a really easy job, but it, um, it is a lot of responsibility that I have. And I have been studying this week. I have been getting lesson plans together this week. I think this is why I'm overwhelmed and very, very tired because we are doing new curriculum and this curriculum is very detailed and I'm working really hard, like I said, to be there for the kiddos at the daycare that I'm at and to also work really, really hard for my son and his school. When I was putting out my applications, I had put out three or four different applications. I have heard from uh, two of them, one of them being my son's school. And I just uh, have chosen to do what I think God was leading me to do. And I feel like I am so very blessed to have the opportunity to get back into being a teacher again and to have that curriculum that I can study and that I can help with the kids. I am um, giving other parents a Christian education for their kids. And um, I may not have that choice for my own children because I have a spouse who rejects that. But as a Christian, I get to, to do that with these kiddos. And so I am so very blessed and I am overwhelmed with gratitude and thankfulness for God and my family and my friends, people from my ex-husband's church um, and people from the church that I go to who have loved and supported me throughout the last couple of months when I haven't been working. However, I need to work. I need to work. I am a single mom and uh, God just has told me to keep doing what you're doing and to join those organizations that are going to help fight for your liberties and your constitutional rights and for what's biblical in your life. And so God has really protected me and he's comforted me, but I am overwhelmed with um, life and its struggles for a single mom. Uh, being a single mom in itself is a, is a struggle. And this time around, I'm a single mom who is gained all this weight. I'm not losing this weight. I'm actually gaining weight and I'm trying really hard to lose weight, but I am, um, kind of falling in depression. And I think because I have had my motherly rights ripped away from me, I have had, um, this divorce that has, um, taken a lot from me and I am alone. I don't have a spouse who is keeping his vows. I don't have a spouse who is loving me and protecting me and making sure that I am taken care of. And so I don't have that spouse any longer who now wants to make sure that my children are taken care of. And so it's a struggle as a single mom. And I want you all to see the journey that I'm going through.
I want you guys to be able to see the highs and the lows. And I'm going to share the journey with you. And I promise you guys, moving forward, I'm going to be able to show you the curriculum I'm teaching my kiddos in the daycare. I'm going to, I'm going to make videos on my classroom setup. I'm going to make videos on all those things I've been working on this week. I've been making my own decorations for my class because I'm a poor single mom. And so I have been using the things I have at home. I've been doing a lot of laminating. I've been uh, working on cutting out papers and letters and numbers and those type of things. And so I want to show you what I do have. And that's going to be my Thrifty Thursday videos. And I want to also show you the things that I have not got done this week. Um, I haven't done my laundry this week. I haven't kept up on cleaning my apartment this week. These are things that have fallen to the side this week just because I started a new job. And so I am overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. I'm in bed by 8 o'clock every night. I'm exhausted. And so I want to tell you guys that I know that single moms kind of get a bad rep because they have to do things on their own. They have to work hard. They have to be mom and dad. They have to be the sole provider of their family. And if they don't do these things, then they're worthless to society. They don't amount to anything. And I am just so frustrated with the government and how it's ran. I am frustrated with marriages that fall apart because of false allegations and lies. And I am very frustrated with the... That there is no reform. And I do want to tell you guys, though, that there is hope. There's hope in Jesus Christ that he is going to protect us as single moms. He's going to continue to provide a way. I'm telling you, um, I have so many people who have come together. But at the same time, it's a lot of effort on my part as a single mom. Don't give up. Keep trying. Keep searching those organizations you can join that will help. Keep filling out those applications. Keep working really hard to give your kids, your home, you, mom, who needs a break, uh, and to keep going the way you're going. Um, that's one thing my job says they don't want me to do is get burnt out because I do have a lot of qualities that I can contribute and give to my employment and I technically could run the whole place. And I am trying really hard to not do that. So um, I am trying to set myself some boundaries. And this week I had decided I needed to take a break from YouTube for the week. And here it is Thursday night. And I'm going to get back to it as soon as I can. And even though I am alone this weekend, I'm going to take some time to reflect and I did not forget about YouTube here. I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know what was going on in my life. But I am struggling. I'm struggling right now with um, not feeling very well, uh, starting a new job, being extremely exhausted, and very frustrated because I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed with my responsibilities in life, and I'm very overwhelmed with um, the things around me and the people, other people's decision around me. It has really nothing to do with my life. My life itself has been going very smoothly, to be honest with you. I am frustrated with my health. I am very, very frustrated with my health. Um, to be honest with you, I am very 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 frustrated with my finances right now i am so in debt that i don't know if this is something i can ever recover from and i am so frustrated with the fact that i haven't done anything to deserve this but um i love my family i loved my marriage i love my children 
and I will sacrifice whatever it takes to do what's right. And so I am uh, wanting to also share something with you guys real quick. Even though I had these false allegations against me, and even though I ended up going to jail, uh, you know, I told you guys this whole time, I was wondering, why am I going to jail? Why did I have to go through this? And uh, I want to let you know, as of this morning, I am talking to three women from jail. Three women out of eight. And uh, they have um, said that I'm a witness to them. They have said to me that they think I went to jail for them. And I think that that may have been why the things have happened the way they have happened to me. And if I could be a witness of Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior in my life, in jail even, I will do it all over again. Um, I want to do and make a difference to whatever God wants me to do and be. I want to make a difference in my children's life. I wanted to make a difference in my marriage I want to my ex-spouse. I wanted to make a difference to the people that I love in my life. And so whether I am in life or whether I am in death, whether Jesus Christ comes and gets me in the rapture, I definitely want to leave a legacy. That's one thing that I really want to do with my life. I want to make a difference in these kids' lives. I love working with children. I love being the mom and dad for them during the day while I can. I love being their teacher. And I love being able to teach about Jesus Christ to these kids. I love this uh, opportunity I have. And so I'm so very, very thankful. And I love that I can continue on taking care of my children um, to the best of my abilities and be the best mom ever, you know, like my 10-year-old calls me. And I am just so very grateful and I don't want to come on here complaining about my life. And that's why I said I need a break because I am exhausted. I am very, very tired of um, making videos every single day for you guys. But uh, it's called YouTube burnout. It happens all the time to YouTubers. And um, my business also of reselling, I have stopped it this week. And so I need to refocus and restart my whole life and so i am going to move forward as a christian as a single mom here on youtube and with the rest of my life but i wanted to check in with you guys give you guys a life update on why i've been missing this week and um we are going to uh get back on track and I just wanted to be completely honest with you guys. To, I am exhausted and I am wore out. And so we are going to take the recovery time that we need. And I will definitely be back on Monday, if not before. And I just want to um, be able to share, continue to share my life with you and what is happening in my life and what God has done for me and the many, many blessings he has given to me. But I need to make good content also. I need to make content that is encouraging and hopeful to you because I know your life is not going to be like my life and your struggle is not going to be like my struggle. And I do realize um, by talking to other women who have gone through kind of what I'm going through. This is a very common thing in the court system now, especially, and that there is organizations out there who are fighting for our liberties. There are Moms for America, Moms for Liberty. There are um, individual organizations that uh, of women who are fighting for their motherly rights who have been, um, who have had false allegations and 
and who have lost um and who have lost in their custody battles based on false allegations and these moms are in my community and they have rallied together to start an organization and so i am joining in with them and we are going to fight the corruption in our state and i want to tell you guys that um it's it's a blessing it's a blessing in disguise to suffer sometimes and so uh, i'm going to be sharing a little bit more of this battle and the fight of uh standing up for what's right with you guys and i'm going to be talking a little bit more in details on what i'm doing there but in the meantime i just wanted to check in with you guys say uh, i love you guys thank you so much please like share subscribe my videos uh there is a gofundme page there is also all of my reselling platforms listed in the description box below and um i will continue on moving on and i know that god is going to carry me through this time in my life where we are all back into a routine for the fall and winter and we are going to be um doing what we can to uh make it through this life and um it's going to be a struggle guys it's going to be a struggle for the next six months for me and so uh, I just need some encouragement and support as I am going to start this weight loss journey officially tomorrow. And um, just be kind, you guys. Please be kind to me because um, I need I need it. I need kindness in my life right now. So um, I don't want to come on here and be depressing so i'm gonna let you go and i don't want to come on here crying and so uh i want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for watching my videos and um for joining me on this journey of being a christian single mom bye